All right, welcome to the entertainment segment here on New Day. It's a different segment uh, today because of coronavirus. There's been a lot of conversation after the directive uh, from the president that we should stay away from public gathering. You know that uh, the... Ghana Music Awards had had to postpone uh, their nominees jam. Uh, three Music Awards, which was supposed to hold on the 28th of March, is not likely to hold up. Of course, they won't have it. And uh, if you've been following uh, Mayal Debra, you know that he was in South Africa. Uh, he's back in Ghana. He's afraid to come even here uh, to our studio because he wants to isolate a while. And also, for those of you who follow Papi Kojo on Twitter, you know he's stuck in Italy. Uh, we are, our prayers are going up for him. But I have two of them joining me on Skype uh, for a conversation. Let's start with you, Papi, because you have been calling on state officials. You've been asking the president and ministers to come get you from Italy. Are you okay? I, I'm not safe. You know? <laughs> You're not safe. And I can see you, you yeah. know, in your gear, uh, well yeah. covered. You're not safe. Um, tell me why you think uh, that you're not, not safe. Sure. We know that Italy has recorded a lot of numbers uh, when it comes to the pandemic. Tell me why you think uh, beyond that, that you're not safe if you're isolating yourself. Like, where I live is right close to the street. And Dambos just passes by every five minutes, literally. So it's not safe. It's not safe at all. It's real, you know. And I've been calling out the government. I mean, I'm a Ghanaian. And I, I've been... I've done a lot for Ghana for, for, for at least for them to mind me when I reach out for help. You know, it's not even funny. People think I'm joking, but it's not, you know? And I don't see why Amiel is laughing. Yeah, your cousin, I was just about to say that your cousin Amiel is having a good laugh at what you're saying. I don't know why he thinks this is funny. No, but have you reached out to the Ghana embassy in Italy? Yeah, they reached out. They actually called me like some few days back because they heard um, um, two Ghanaians um, are dead from the virus. So they wanted to reach out and find out if I'm okay because they don't know who, like, who they are. And I told them, yeah, I'm okay. And I also heard the news. And they haven't made any preparations. Anyway, I'm not sure you even be allowed to enter Ghana if you come uh, through. I was going to say they haven't made... I, I, can't even, I, I can't even move. Like, if I move out right now and I get caught, that is, it's bad. I can't move. You, 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 okay, so, so how are you surviving then? Have you had enough to take care of yourself all through this period that you have to, you know, be indoors? Uh, that, so, sorry, can you come again? What's the point? I'm saying that you have enough to take care of yourself in terms of what you have to consume, food and all that, to take care of yourself throughout this period that you are indoors. Oh, yes, I do, but I don't know how long it will last. And at least we oh, see no, that Twitter, I... Twitter is keeping you company. But let me bring in your cousin, Amiya, who just returned from South Africa on Saturday. You're having a good laugh at your cousin. That's so mean of you, Amiya. <laughs> No, no, I'm not laughing at you. It, 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 it's it's only like a person himself that made me laugh. But I'm not laughing at the situation in any way. But as a family, aren't you worried about him? Have you guys thought of how to help him in the situation he finds himself? Because he's been calling out uh, government on Twitter. Yes, oh, unfortunately, there isn't so much we can do. Uh, my mother last week was like uh, saying, oh, just imagine, no, we have him in prayers and all of that. I think at the moment, the best we can do uh, is to is to have him in prayers. And then collectively, we just go hey. uh, this whole... So that's the best you guys can do is pray for me. But what can we do? <laughs> you, you have been isolated. <laughs> Even your government in Italy will not allow you out. So there is almost nothing we can do, but just to be positive and hope that uh, the whole situation, we have a solution to it globally, and then it will trickle down to Ghana as well. Uh, you seem to be very, very scared, Amir. I asked you to come to the studio, and you prefer to do Skype. Um, you have a lot of... <laughs> you see, now he's laughing at you. Now Papi is laughing at you. See, even, even my hair is messy. I have to go to the barber, but uh, <laughs> shall I be sure? So I, I, I am staying indoors for a bit, uh, waiting for things to, to clear, so we have a clear direction as to how things are going before, before we sort of expose ourselves. But uh, thankfully, the situation is not as bad in Ghana as it is elsewhere. Mm. Uh, so we, should just, we just have to be a little bit more uh, 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 like careful 
uh, in order not to let it spread further. And, and you just got back from South Africa. Just when you got back, the president also gave some directive that no, pe no yeah. person should be allowed into their country. I know that you travel around the world to work. Tell me how this has had in, an effect on what you do as an international blogger. Well, yeah, it's been scary. I mean, when I was in SA and I was getting ready to come, my only hope was that uh, we wouldn't hear any uh, travel advice saying that entry to Ghana had been banned because I just, I, there was so much stress and, and, and stress and pressure on us that we just wanted to come home and then sort of be indoors and then face the rest of our lives in Ghana. So uh, we, we were only praying that they wouldn't announce that no movement uh, on the day before we get to Ghana. It has really, really slowed down work. A lot of things that we had to, to do, some events that we had had to attend had been cancelled. Uh, we cannot move our, around freely uh, like we, we would wish to. And so, fortunately for some of us, our work is, is online, so we can do it remotely and at ease. Uh, but my, my staff uh, are worried, uh, commuting to the office, etc. So, it, it, it's been affecting work. And uh, from next week, Monday, I've told them to work from home. Uh, and so, we are going to see how well. Uh, we will able to, we'll be able to work uh, remotely from our various homes and how it impacts on the work in general. All right, Papi, what, what can we do for you at this moment? You cannot step out. Um, we see you on Twitter. I, 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 I People want, are making want, fun of you and all that. I want a jet, and, and I know and I know it can be done. You know, I'm, you, I'm, you know, I'm you know why people don't seem to be taking a lot of the things you say serious? How can you want a jet at this point, Papi? But why is it not possible? I mean, I don't understand why it's not possible. It's like, it's like ma ma wumba nema bakor akeke baby na olusu from them is them. But if we are to judge you off from Italy to Ghana, you're going to put the lot of us here in Ghana also at risk. I'm sure you know that as well. Please, what do you mean by that? <laughs> He says, please, but you, I'm sure you know the directive from our president. You, I, I'm sure you follow the news that two people who are traveling from Italy or got to Ghana were asked to return because we are not comfortable with people from Italy coming to our country because you've recorded large numbers. So, so all of a sudden, I'm not Ghanaian anymore. We haven't, we haven't said that. We're only saying that is it not better that you stay there isolated and safe or you still think that it's not okay? You don't think that you're I safe miss enough? Home. I, I miss home, you know. We miss you too, miss Papi, home. but we want you alive and we want ourselves uh, protected as well. So how long do I have to wait? We are all waiting. At least after four weeks here in Ghana, we'll be able to tell. I don't know how long you've been told out there in Italy to stay indoors. Do you have an idea? Yeah, dear, we don't know. We don't even know. All, the, all they say is for us to stay inside. We don't know for how long because the numbers keep increasing. So we, I don't know. And you don't think it's a better idea? Sorry? You don't think it's a better idea staying home, isolated? You tell me that, I you think know, it I is, saw your but post. Home is Ghana for me, and I want to stay home. Well, we pray that this happens soon. Uh, I, we are able to, you know, record less cases in Italy as well. And then, uh, but have you tested, though? Sorry? Have you tested? So, of all the thing going on, you want me to go outside and go and get tested? But you want to come home. And so you're, you're, you're negative, you know. And so you're please, negative. I'm negative. Please, please, I'm negative. Oh, you're negative. negative. Yes, I am. You know that for a fact. Yes, I know. Because if maybe I if the, what about if government says once you're able to test negative, we are bringing you home? How about putting some uh, some measures in place so that you can come home? Please, I'm negative. <laughs> So take the opportunity. I've given you a minute to speak to government once again on what you think should be the way forward in your regard, especially proud, when you have the I'm embassy out there. Ghanian. I'm a proud Ghanaian. I've been I've been Ghanaian for my whole 21 years, and um, and and I miss home. You know, I have family members at home. You know, I have fans at home. You know, and I just miss home, and I want to come back home. You know, and it's not even funny. People think it's funny, but it's not. You know. But definitely you're there with family as well, aren't you? No, the, I'm here with my brother and my sister. They, are, they live in another city, but my, my parents are in Ghana. My cousins and all of them are in Ghana, you know? 
So it's not enough for you th at this point to be with your brother and sister in Italy. You want to come home. Amiel, um, yes. so I'm sure that you said, you know, business beyond the fact that you do business online, you, content, getting content has also been affected, I'm sure. Yes, yes, it has. And even generally how people re react to the content, like everybody is, is uh, a little bit, it's like if you bring something out that is not so uh, like, they want what they want to be around corona that is like you are disturbing them they are like oh in the heat of corona this is what you're talking about we want this so i think uh, in general yeah business is, is, is affected in, in terms of hours uh, because we do content uh, and uh, people react to it people read it and uh, i've seen generally that there's been a decline even in people reading content yeah Thank you very much, Amaya, and thank you, Papi Kodjo. That's all time will allow us. But uh, let's go pick a story on uh, Kim Promise, who together, Stone Boy as well, had had to cancel some of your concert uh, beyond the shores of Ghana because of uh, the pandemic. Kim Promise, who returned on Wednesday, uh, spoke to us yesterday on our radio station, uh, 3FM, on Showbuzz. <laughs> did you think that King Promise could fill places outside Ghana? At what point did you decide to put this together? The funny thing is we've been touring for two years now, but people don't really know. I don't know how, but this one kind of like just blew up. And okay, so this is not your maiden tour? No, I've had, this is like my third tour, actually. But this is like my biggest tour, yeah, so I guess that's why, yeah, yeah. And then, unfortunately, coronavirus, the outbreak, mm, got you cancelling some of the shows. I know that you were supposed to go to Canada. Yeah, so we had to postpone the whole tour i had to cancel italy um, edmonton toronto and you know america as well but like i like i said in my post when i put it out the fans are most important so the safety of everybody else because i'm not trying to put a lot of people in one place and have them contract something and myself my safety is important as well because when you come to my show i as much as you, you know it's huge or whatever i'm very intimate with the fans i take pictures i i hug people you know what i mean so i was just looking out for everybody else and making sure I follow the health of this that's just, you know public distancing and self -isolation isolating and stuff like that so hopefully when all of this is over we you know reset the dates and get it going again and one of the things i've been asking everybody who's had an event and all that you know how you pre-prepare with your venues you book it you pay and all that do you have a similar situation yeah, yeah, yeah i have a solid team here on the ground in ghana and in europe also in canada like pretty much everywhere i've been to that's a team that we put together whether it's a promoter or it's ourselves we just make sure that everything is sorted and in place for the event to happen so yes there's, there's adequate preparation for the show all the time in this case are you losing money because people have bought tickets do you have to refund you know so oh you mean like the council shows yes oh i mean it's been postponed some of them if you have like a ticket you already bought a ticket and you want a refund you can get it back if not you it's all you know valid to valid when for the, mm. year, for the next thing when it happens so um, stuff like this you, you speak to promoters you speak to venues you try to find a common ground and make sure everyone is happy let's talk about you yourself you're back now are you worried because like you said you've interacted with a lot of people have you tried to test yeah we can't see the rest of the tour when it actually you know got things like when i started it wasn't it wasn't like this we didn't realize where it was going because like i have no symptoms whatsoever i'm still self-isolating though so i'm just here in my room just chilling you know oh you're chilling yeah, yeah i just do my room in football <laughs> <laughs> but how long are you going to isolate yourself when when are you stepping out finally so it's supposed to be for 14 days so we're all that. 14 days anyway we hope to see yeah. you like at, i said i uh -huh. don't have any same teams yeah that's that's